Hey guys, so today we have massive news regarding Samsung's upcoming processor, the Exynos 2200, more specifically its GPU. As we know, the Exynos 2200 will come with an AMD GPU and today from Korean media, they mentioned that the GPU on the Exynos 2200 can match and in certain games outperform current gen consoles, which would be impressive. They already mentioned that consoles like the Nintendo Switch are much slower compared to the graphics performance that the Exynos 2200 brings and they also mentioned its configuration that the Exynos 2200 will have LPDDR5 memory and they also mentioned and did a comparison between previous generation consoles the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and they mentioned that the Exynos 2200 outperformed both of those consoles. So Samsung is definitely bringing some massive performance improvements with the new Exynos 2200. And in the future, we could be seeing gaming devices similar to the Nintendo Switch adapt a more powerful processor like the Exynos 2200. Now, alongside this, they also mentioned that the RDNA 2 GPU will have six CUDA cores. AMD also makes Vega GPUs, a massive improvement compared to Exynos 2100 and it is unlike anything we have ever seen. It is truly impressive the level of graphic performance that the Exynos 2200 will bring. Now alongside this we also know that the Exynos 2200 will be manufactured in Samsung's new 4 nanometer process which is expected to bring around 11% improvement in performance compared to the 5 nanometer process which is currently available with the Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888 processors. They also mentioned that around a 5 to 10 percent improvement in efficiency. However, the bigger improvements will be seen going from 4 nanometers to 3 nanometers next year where we are expected to see closer to a 20% performance increase and around the same for efficiency. So the 4 nanometer process is like an incremental upgrade to this year's 5 nanometer process. We expect Samsung to introduce the Exynos 2200 later this year. There were some rumors that we could see Samsung do some type of announcement this month, but as of now that has not happened and we expect the first device with this processor to be the Galaxy S22 series. However, there has been rumors that Vivo is in talks with Samsung and we could see the Vivo X70 series powered by an Exynos 1200 or Exynos 2200, both of which will have the new RDNA 2 GPU and both of those chipsets will also come with the new 4 nanometer architecture. Now going to other news today, we have a complete complete leak of all the Galaxy Buds 2 settings and we also have more images of the Buds themselves. So as we can see the Galaxy Buds 2 will come in 5 colors, black, violet, green, white and yellow and as for the settings and as for the settings we have the traditional touch controls active noise cancellation, one tap, double tap and triple tap to activate certain functions and the most interesting one is that there is a new interface for the Galaxy C Flip 3. This device will bring a bigger color display and with that Samsung is adapting most of its app to function while the Galaxy C Flip 3 is closed. Things like active noise cancellation and touch controls can be able to be activated with the cover display. Now, as for the bots themselves, they are extremely similar to the Galaxy Buds Pro. Their design and their feature set are identical. However, there are some new features that we could be seeing exclusive to the Galaxy Buds 2. These are expected to cost between $160 and $180, so that would make them between $20 to $40 cheaper compared to the Galaxy Buds Pro, which are expected to remain Samsung's flagship headphones well, the Galaxy Buds 2 are expected to be targeted as high mid-range headphones and the successors to the very popular Galaxy Buds Plus. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for a lot more information as we continue to get performance leaks for Samsung's upcoming Exynos 2200 and as we hear more about Samsung's upcoming accessories like the Galaxy Buds 2. So stay tuned for that and a lot more.